Welcome back to the Kindle Fire. We're doing a setup right now, and uh, what we need to do now is prepare your Amazon account. Uh, Kindle Fire requires you to have an active Amazon account with you know shipping address and payment information, although you may not use any of that. They strongly encourage having that on there, so in the event that you want to purchase a book from them or, or a video or a movie, that you're, you're able to do that very quickly. So for that, we're actually going to put the Kindle Fire down for a minute. We're going to go to Amazon.com on the computer. Just bear with me here. Now, once you get here to Amazon, uh, you're looking for this right here in the top right. It's hello, sign into your account, and you're going to sign in. Now, keep in mind, you've already registered your Kindle device to you by putting in an email address. Okay, so now we just want to repeat that. Johnny Demo and my password, and then I'm going to sign in. Well, there's a password problem. There we go. Do remember to write your passwords down. <laughs> okay, so it's going to pull you up to just some generic information, things that you've clicked on while you're using your Kindle. Uh, I've attempted to download a few things just to test these devices. Just ignore that. What you're really concerned with is up here in the top right. You're going to click your account and then go down here to the sub, sub second link that says your account and click that. And then this is where we need to get started. A few things you need to do before you can start downloading apps that will allow you to be successful in accessing some of the things at uh, ACOT. Uh, first thing we need to do is scroll down just a little and manage payment options. Now again, um, this isn't, isn't something you need to, to, to worry too much about. I plan on putting in an old card, like a gift card, uh, you know, Visa debit card that I don't use anymore, just in case I don't want to be accidentally clicking and ordering things. Uh, so what I plan on doing is just using an old gift card that I've got. Uh, everybody's seen these little Visa uh, gift cards you can get. So I'm going to put that in here. And there's absolutely no money on this. But uh, Google, or not Google, I'm sorry, Amazon Prime doesn't really care. They just want it on file in case you ever decide to use it. Okay. Expiration. And this is a good practice in general to have a uh, secondary card that you don't use for much just in case somebody asks for it. Okay, then it's going to want to do some billing address and shipping information. Again, I'm just using some generic stuff. I'll use a school's address and put in my information and the phone number. And I'm going to hit update. Here's my information. It's got me in the system. All should be well. Okay, changes made your prepayment method will not affect your orders if you've already placed, which isn't the case. And I don't want to add any other features, so this should be all I need. Let's go back to my account just to confirm. And we're going to look to see if there's anything else we need to do. Everything looks fine. I don't want to activate one click because I don't intend on purchasing anything. So. That's it for now. Let's pick up the Kindle Fire now, and let's go from there. We're going to do on the next video, directly after this one, we'll get ready to download our first apps.